In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, we'd like to show you how to add branding, a logo, or a watermark to one or more photos. We're starting with an empty project, and I'm going to be in the left panel in the Library tab. I'll hold down the Control key and press the I key for Insert, and I'll insert this one picture that I've selected. Let's assume that we're running a construction company and we want to use this. So what I want to do in my zoom, I want to zoom it to fit, and there's my image. Let's go ahead and add a logo. To do that, I need a layer, so we're going to go into the Edit button on the very top. It will open that up, and it uses this picture as the background. What's commonly done is duplicating it in case I make some changes I do not like. So I have a backup. I'll right-click on it, choose Duplicate, and then we'll simply turn off the original called Background. I can go back into the copy and rename it if I want. I'm not going to do so in this case. But I need to add another layer with my logo or branding on it. So I'll click on Add New Layer in the upper left corner. Then I'll do Add a Photo Layer. I'm going to choose, in this case, from a folder. I'm going to navigate to the directory where my image is. I have this PNG, which has transparent background. I'll double click on that and it will put it in. This will be my logo or branding. We're not done with it when we pull it in. There's some other things we can do if we'd like to enhance it a bit. So let me show you a couple of tricks. With that layer selected, and you see it, it has the blue border around it, I'll click on the Effects button. And when I click on that, I see all the options I have to enhance it. I can choose a border, for example, one or more. I'll click on that. It gives me a white border, and I can modify the characteristics of that border, the size, and whether it's color or a gradient, there are other things I can do with it. We have tutorials on some of the features in this layer properties area. I'm going to turn that one off for now. Another common one that you might try is a drop shadow. I'll click here. And again, we can control the distance of the shadow and the size of the shadow, the direction of the shadow, other kinds of things. A third very common option that people use would be a bevel and emboss. I'll click on that. And here we can choose between an inner bevel, an outer bevel, an emboss, or a pillow emboss, which is kind of double inner and outer. That's a nice feature. When you're all done working with these features, there's one more that may be surprising. It's called Layer Fill, and I think it's mislabeled. But I'll turn it on, and note basically all I can do is opacity with that one. But if I want more of a watermark look to it, I can use this and have a slightly transparent option that I want to use. When you're done, you click on OK with that layer editing, and then you can resize and reposition and rotate your image as a, your brand, as your logo, as your watermark if you want. Let me show you another option that you have. I'm going to right click on this and we are going to delete that layer. And let's take another shot at it. If I want to use it as a watermark, I'm going to click on the right panel. That will open up a whole bunch of controls. I'm going to choose the one that's the wand with a star on it. And the last subset is called Frames and Watermarks. I'm going to click on Watermark Creator. Now what I'd like to do is take any of the default ones and delete them and build my own. To build this again, I'm going to click on the image, since it's only an image. Click on Add Images. And then I navigate to where I want to go. I'll go back to that same image, put it here, and I can resize it. And I can change the opacity. I can't change the other features like I could before. But here's the advantage of this. If I click on this and click on OK, I have it done on this particular image. But what if I want to use this on another image? I've got the location where I want. I've got the sizing that I want. How can I do that? 
all I need to do is make some changes. I'm going to turn off my background copy. We'll add another image, another background layer. I'll just take the solid blue screen. And we're actually going to, to, to delete our layer that we have here. So all I have right now active is my blue screen. How can I quickly add that same image without recreating everything? I have to select a layer. Let's do that first. Click on Watermark Templates. And you notice it has a last edited. So it's going to allow me to take the one I just had and make that a somewhat default. I can also pick on the other defaults that are available, but it's nice that it picks this up. I can even go back into it if I want to, and I can edit it or change it if I desire. I'll click on Cancel. I'll click on No. But the template is there now if I've edited it recently because it remembers it. So it's kind of nice to be able to use it in this way as well. Those are a few tips on how you can add a logo, a branding, or a watermark to images in PhotoDirector 365.